domestic funding until someone's been compensated under eminent domain, the state is in here by a servitude. And I think it's a shame that you, as the committee and the commission, don't recommend, don't recommend that they go down there to try and make them produce the deeds. Find out. It's a simple thing to do. Let them dig in the archives and get them out. It's their duty. They're in here illegally. We got the paperwork. It's all around where they went in here against our rights. And under the law, as I've quoted so many times, so I'm blue in the face, the law says the lake will be kept full at all times subject to the elements. How can you even vote on a thing that contradicts the law? I don't understand what's going on in this country. The laws are being set aside. Constitutional rights are being stepped on. There's something drastically wrong in this country, and it shouldn't be allowed. You people are here as the watchdogs to look for the lake and to look out for the rights of the people on that lake and keep the lake clean. And that's what you're here for. I, I believe the draft plan from the CAC that Steve, or, uh, Steve Byron, or Larry Byron is going to change that Steve in my head. I don't know if it's going to be, we're going to have one more meeting, and then after that meeting, this plan is going to be released for public comment to the commission. Right. Um, and uh, I'd ask you all, when it does come out, please pay special attention. It's a long document. It's not exactly a casual reading, but there's, there's a lot of issues in here that I think the commission should really pay attention to is in terms of um, environmental and wildlife concerns, much like we worry about downstream, there's really not a whole lot of that's being paid attention to in the draft plan. I think it's something that just want to give you a heads up and maybe pay some attention to. The reason why I came tonight was I did have an opportunity to take a look at the, the draft water management plan in 2010. And I was really kind of shocked to see that it looks at all the stakeholders in the equation with the exception of the Lake of Akron stakeholders. It looks at water quality issues, sewer authority downstream. But when I looked to see whether, in fact, there were issues addressing water quality issues in Lake Apacon as a result of the arbitrary 12 cubic, cubic feet per second discharge requirement or practice, there wasn't anything in there. And it seemed to me quite striking that a major sector of stakeholders is completely ignored in this document when it comes to water quality issues. And I raise it because I know we spend a lot of time and money looking at weed growth, looking at uh, phosphate reduction, nitrate reduction, and we spend a lot of time and effort dealing with those issues. But when you lower lake, uh, uh, when you lower the lake level, and by the end of August, when you're dropping down two and a half three feet, when, by maintaining that flow, when you reduce the lake depth, you increase the heating of the lake, you, you decrease the dissolved oxygen, as a result, you promote anaerobic conditions in the shallow areas of the lake, if weeds die off towards the end of the season, which exacerbates the problem, and it makes the recreational use of Lake Pacong towards the end of the season virtually um, non-existent. And I think that to ignore that issue to the exclusion, to the complete exclusion of other users, is just irresponsible. I'm not saying that this board's position, but just from looking at the draft report, I was kind of shocked to see that those issues were completely ignored. I think what the public is probably asking is that the Lake Pacong Commission sure they're doing, just really put a lot of thought, um, a lot of energy into this water management plan. Because um, this management plan is really going to dictate the rest of the health of the lake, since water level, water volume, is really, again, the biggest component, component of everything else that happens to the lake environment. Um, it affects the fishery, um, it affects the, the biota, it affects the water quality, um, it really affects everything here at the lake. However, it appears that you know the, the history of how this water management plan has been, I guess, looked at and revised. It, it, it's not the most important thing that perhaps the commission um, does, or doesn't seem to be the most important thing that we try to manage here at the lake. However, the water, the volume, etc., is the most important thing we have here.